Hello, in this brief tutorial I'm going to go through the steps required to do a student t-test in GraphPad Prism. For this example I'm using Prism version 8 on a Mac. When you open Prism it brings up this Welcome to GraphPad Prism intro screen and in order to undertake a t-test you need to select from the left option column as we have here and from the data table option enter or import data into a new table. Under Options, you want to select Enter Replicate Values Stacked into Columns. For a student t-test, you are comparing two groups of data from two, for instance, different treatments or two different groups of a population, in which case you want to put replicate values one on top of each other. This is a unique feature of GraphPad Prism because in Excel and many other analysis tools you don't have to place your data into columns but you can place them into rows. So we choose Stacked into Columns and click on Create. By default the new data table labelled Data1 will appear on the screen in front of you and you'll have a list of groups at the top of the table. You can see here Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D etc. And each of these will have a title. At the moment these titles are left empty. So I'm just going to make up some fictitious data and call one male and the other female. I'm also going to enter a series of numbers and these are just random numbers selected as I type this in. Prism is quite an intelligent program and while you've entered those data it will automatically be created a graph called Data1 and if I click on that you'll see it's comparing these two different data sets. As soon as you click on the graph, you'll be presented with a window selecting how you want these data to be displayed. And to be honest, it doesn't matter to me at the moment, but for visualization purposes, I'm going to choose individual values as a scatter plot and click OK. Since we're not presenting these data, I'm not going to spend any time formatting this graph, but it is worth just observing that these two groups do appear to have a difference between them. Despite the fact I've randomly selected this data, I was biased in selecting higher numbers for the female group than the male group. So to do a student t-test on this data set, it is very, very simple. The simplest way of doing it is going to the data table, viewing the data, and clicking on the Analyze button. You could also click on the Analyze button in the graph table, or click on New Analysis in the results table. But for this example, we'll click on Analyze in the Analysis bar. You choose the built-in analysis, and if you go down, you'll find the section labeled Column Analyses. And this is where you'll find t-tests and other tests. We're going to click on t-test, and we're going to select our two data sets, male and female, and click on OK. The next choice box allows you to decide whether you want your data paired or unpaired. Well, clearly this example is using male and female data, and therefore the results cannot be paired. If you had data which represented repeated measures between the same animal, for instance, or the same person before and after a treatment, or over time, you could use a paired test to compare one group to the other. With a paired test, each of the rows, in this case 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, would represent a different sample. So for instance, row 1, column A or group A, would represent subject 1 at baseline, for instance, and in the group B, it would be subject 1 after the treatment. Of course, a paired analysis is a more powerful analysis tool, but it does require that your data are legitimately paired. So I'm going to choose unpaired, and I'm going to use a parametric test. Of course, I've not tested whether my data are normally distributed, and I suspect under this example they won't be, but I am going to do a parametric test anywhere. And of course, my test is an unpaired t-test, where I assume that both populations have a similar or the same standard deviation. There are no other options I need to click or change, but for instance, in the residuals, you can look at residual creation. These are quite a useful thing to have a look at. Residual plots, QQ plots or heat map plot for instance. In the options also you can report differences as 
male versus female in this case, or female versus male. It doesn't make much of a difference. This is actually quite important at this point. You can choose between a one-tailed or a two-tailed t-test. A one-tailed t-test assumes that your data are only moving in one direction, whereas a two-tailed t-test, which you can see in parentheses here is recommended, is a test that looks to whether the data increases or decreases between the groups. I'm not going to choose any other choices here except to point out down the bottom you've got this p-value style where you can choose between different forms. Now I just click on OK and it does my test for me. Automatically I get a unpaired t-test table in my results section and I can look down through these data at my p-value summary of my unpaired t-test and see that my p-value is less than 0 0.0001 showing that it is highly significant. So that's a quick and easy way of doing an unpaired t-test in GraphPad Prism. Thank you.